All right, here's another uh, simple video. Uh, this is a, a, a test that you can use for um, back pain. Uh, uh, we use this a lot, with, but really you could use this as an assessment to see your depth on a squat. And when you're, you're going to lose your neutral spine position at a certain point. All right, so you can sort of see here on, I'm trying to determine how much neutral I want to have. You can just see there I was asking um, Melissa who was filming the video how much to, to do. You can sort of see I was just a, I was there, so it's probably a little bit too excessive in my um, lumbar spine, my anterior tilt. So I've got like a curve of about that much, um, and I just adjust it a little bit. You can just sort of see here. You know, I've just sort of manoeuvred it. Now what, I've, what I want to do is I want to sort of lower myself back towards my heels without losing that curve. I want to be able to keep that as neutral as I can for as long as I can. If I can get all the way to my heels, that means I can squat with a full range squat with, without compromising my uh, spine. So I'm sort of just rocking back. I've still got it nice and slow. And you'll just start to see about there where my pelvis tip tips under, and there's my spine that just goes right now. So can you see how I've gone rounded out? That's a risk to my discs and my back there. If I had, if I was standing up, especially if I had load, or if I just did a lot of them like that. All right. So now, what influences this? And you'll see if I do it is if. If I bring my knees um, close together, so I'll do another one here, um, so it gives you another idea. So if I go a bit narrower, you'll find that because my hips become stiffer with a narrower stance, so because I don't have the flexibility to go that deep, I'll break much earlier. So I've already gone there. You can So that narrow stance is telling me and I'll feel it too, this is the thing, you can really feel where it feels easier, it grooves nice and smooth, uh, where uh, certain positions won't. So if you're too wide, it won't be good, it'll be sort of a strain on your hip. Uh, there's that nice positioning that you can roughly find, that'll be just right. Um, so that when you go to stand up, which I'll show you in a second, um, you, can really, uh, you can really feel it. So here I'll just quickly sort of show you roughly how wide I was. So it's around about there, and then I move, move back, and I can feel that's good for me. So I know that that stance around about that hip width is good for me. Whereas if I go here, it's I can do it, but it's not as good. It's just definitely not as good for me to be that low. So I'll show you what it looks like when I stand up. Okay, so here's me standing up doing the squat, and basically I'm, I just want to sort of see how low I can go. I know if I go past there, and you can sort of see it straight away. I'll do I think I'll do another one. So I'm I'm okay here, I'm okay, I'm okay. And probably you know, as I start to get there you can just sort of begin to see that bum sort of sucking under. You know, a lot of people refer to that as the butt wink. Um, I just don't have that flexibility in my hips to maintain that neutral position of my back for that long. You know, uh, some people it'll come down to ankles with this one as well, so uh, it may not be only the hip that's the problem but um, basically like my stance is a giveaway so I go here on a narrower stance and I lose it really quick see I'm already starting to lose it now and it gets worse much quicker so from back from the back position remember I was just a bit wider than a, than my hips so I roughly can feel that and I can lower down into that squat and it feels good um, whereas if I go on the narrow one I instantly feel it's not comfortable for me. All right, so that's that's where you, uh, a great simple test you can use to sort of determine your hip width and where you feel comfortable, so you save your back from being damaged. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that video, and uh, we'll see. You